Hi, hello everyone. I am Wraith and I hope that you are all doing well. A few weeks ago, I picked up Pokemon Scarlet and I wanted to play it for the channel, so that's what we're gonna do. Gonna keep the intro very short today, so if you want to, you can follow me on Instagram at underscore WraithBabe. Please follow me, I want my family to think I'm cool. <laughs> if you're interested, my Patreon is in the description as well. I try to upload videos early on there. I really want to do this full time, so your support on Patreon means the world to me. Finally, if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe to stay in the loop with when I upload things. I upload every Wednesday at 11am, and starting in April, I will also be uploading on Fridays at 11am. With all that being said, we're gonna play Pokemon Scarlet for the first time, and we're gonna have fun. Because that's what we do. We have fun here. Okay, so this is my first time ever playing Pokemon Scarlet, and I decided to play it for you guys here on the channel. Damn, you really can customize the fuck out of your Pokemon character nowadays, huh? Remember when you couldn't fucking do that? Hell yeah, okay, I think... I think we're done customizing our character. This looks cute as shit. Hell yeah, brother, I'm ready. Let's dive into the world of Pokemon, let's get it. Can I get my starter and go on my journey? I hate tutorial sections. <laughs> Especially in Pokemon games, like, why the fuck is there a tutorial section in a Pokemon game? Oh my god, it's so cute! Oh my god! Aww. Oh my god, I'm playing Going to School Simulator. Pokemon, Going to School Simulator. So is that a shiny version, or is that like a region version? I forgot the Pokemon's name, it's Tauros, isn't it? If I'm not wrong, it's Tauros. Okay, so I think that's the region version of Tauros. That is Tauros, right? I'm gonna look it up so I don't sound stupid as shit for the rest of the video. <gasps> a flamingo Pokemon? Or are those just flamingos? Or has that existed and I'm just stupid as shit? Also, I looked it up and it was Tauros, by the way. Can I get my first Pokemon? I know how this goes. You gotta fight the gym leaders and then you gotta be the Elite Four or whatever the fuck and then you're done. So normally when I pick starter Pokemon, I typically go with fire types with the exception of a few water types here and there like i picked piplup and pearl when i was a kid so i just pick piplup all the time now because that's my bitch um and like sometimes i've started over my playthrough of pokemon shield a few times without actually ever finishing the game and i'll either pick between score bunny or sobble depending on my mood but this time i really want to go with the grass pokemon because that cat is cute as fuck dude I really want the grass cat. It's adorable. I just want- no, just let me pick it based on cuteness, dude, like I always have. Let me pick my poke- let me pick my starter Pokemon based on vibes. Why does this have a GTA 5 style minimap in the bottom right? You can all roast me in the comments for picking the weed- weak- <laughs> fuck, weakest starter type Pokemon. I don't give a shit. The cat's cute as fuck. You know, for a bitch who bags on, like, long-ass intro cutscenes, I will defend Twilight Princess's intro cutscene- not cutscene, but, like, intro tutorial section for the life of me. Like, if you ever are like, Oh my god, Twilight Princess's tutorial section is too long. I am right behind you. If you say that shit into a mirror three times, I appear behind you and I'm like, no, it's not. It literally serves a storytelling purpose to be that long and also to get you acquainted with both Human Link and Wolf Link. But it serves a story purpose to provide backstory to Link's upbringing and uh, to provide... Uh, I don't know what I just agreed to. Um, to provide, like... What's the word? Like, purpose to your adventure because you lost all your friends because they got kidnapped by shadow beasts and uh, your home is at risk of... Uh, falling to Twilight, and if you didn't have that long-ass intro tutorial where they introduce you to your friends and those characters and make you love them, um, then you wouldn't really feel that strongly about the journey, now would you? And that's why, in this essay, I will be discussing Twilight Princess's intro tutorial and why the fact that it is, like, two hours long is important to the story and important to you as a player. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Also, side note, Pokemon intro tutorials do not need to be this fucking long. End of rant. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. There should be an option when you first play a Pokemon game to be like, hey, have you played any other Pokemon games before? And if you hit yeah, it's like, all right, here's your starter Pokemon. Go do whatever. Not really loving the UI for like the Pokemon's health and stuff. I feel like that's 
a little bit lackluster, if I'm being honest. And I'm not one to shit on Pokemon games. You know how those there's like people out there who will shit on like every Pokemon release no matter what, and then be like, no, I'm a Pokemon fan, I swear. It's like, mm, you don't really sound like it. I'm not like that. But those UIs do seem a little bit lackluster. And there's nothing there's nothing wrong with pointing out like flaws in a game. But to be like, oh, I'm a fan of this franchise, but then you shit on literally every game that they release. It's kind of like, mm. are you though? Like, I get it for first time Pokemon players because there's always kids who are growing up and playing Pokemon for the first time. Like, I mean, like, I grew up playing Pokemon. My brothers grew up playing Pokemon like a generation before me. And... Like, my nieces and nephews are playing Pokemon now. Like, I get it, but I just wish there was an option to be like, Hey, I'm not a stranger to this shit. I know how to do this. Can we not give me a bajillion useless cutscenes? I like how seamlessly the battle cutscenes come into place. Like, those are fucking sleek. You would hardly know that it was like, Oh shit, I wasn't paying attention to what type I was going up against. I feel like this is what people wanted Pokemon Sword and Shield to be. I didn't really pay attention to the reviews on this game, like... I kind of, like, I remember when Pokemon Shield came out, I was really excited about it, because it looked really sick. And, uh... I had a fun time playing the game, and then I went online and everyone was like, Fuck this game, this is the worst game ever. And I was like... I thought it was fun. I liked it. I'm gonna need a fire type because the first gym is probably gonna be a grass type gym. So I'm gonna need a fire type Pokemon at some point. God, I love that animation. I think that animation is so sick. I'm probably not gonna shut up about it for a while. I guess it kind of makes sense why the UI is a little lackluster because of the battle scenes when you're battling wild Pokemon. Like how they're... How it's meant to kind of not take you out of the experience, if that makes sense. This feels like the intro to Skyrim when you're going, like, through the sewers or whatever of Helgen to escape the dragon and run off to Riverwood. Maybe I've just been playing too much Skyrim lately. Let me know if you want to see me play the Elder Scrolls games for the channel, because I recently got uh, Morrowind, Oblivion, and Skyrim all on sale on Steam. And I used to play Skyrim a lot back on my PlayStation in, like, 2015. So... Let me know if you want to see me play it for the channel. I don't know if my OBS would be able to handle it, but we can try. This dude acts like he's like, Aw oh man, I have like the most powerful Pokemon team ever. I'm going to beat your ass and then sends out a level 5 Squabbit. And that was the only Pokemon he had? Dude, he talked a big game for someone who has a singular Squabbit. This is it? We just want to see the view of our school? I want to go beat gyms, lady. I want to go fight trainers and catch Pokemon. I thought it was like a sheep Pokemon or something, but no, it was a bug Pokemon. Is that a Psyduck? Holy shit, I want it. If I were like a Pokemon trainer and I specialized in one type, what type do you guys think that I would specialize in? Because I'm always torn between like Dark, Fairy, and Psychic, or like Water or Ice. But I'm- I- Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Shh. Shit. Oh well. Um. But yeah, Dark Fairy and Psychic are always the ones that I think I would be. Because, like, I fucking love Gengar so much. Or, like, Ghost. Ghost is a strong contender. I kind of want to keep exploring down this way. But I doubt there's going to be... And, oh, I was going to say, I doubt there's going to be any new Pokemon. There are. Oh, you can change the fucking camera angle while you're battling, too. That's sick. I'm going to go get my coffee. Hold up. Hold up. I will be right back. Alrighty. I am back with my coffee. I've been getting, um... I've been getting really into making coffee recently. Like, I bought a frother, and I bought, like, all kinds of syrups and stuff. And, uh... 
I got coffee from this brand that I've been wanting to try called Bones Coffee. And it's really fucking good. Normally, I have to drink coffee with creamer. Like, I just, I can't do black coffee at all. But this one, I can, like, almost drink it without creamer. And it tastes really, really good. Okay, so I think we've discovered kind of all the Pokemon in this area. I'm gonna heal up and uh, buy some more Pokeballs. That's so cool that you can enter a birthday. That's actually really sick. Oh, well now I've got to wait all year to turn 23, so that way I can <laughs> hop on this game and see what happens. That animation really never gets old. Um, I know I'm supposed to go to the school, but I kind of want to explore up this way. Oh! I was button mashing, and I didn't see what she said. She said, did you know? And then, like, flashed it on the screen, and I button mashed through it, and now I don't know. Now I have no clue what she was talking about. Who the fuck is Team Star? That's a cute backpack. That's cute as hell. I want that IR... Dude, like a corduroy Eevee backpack would be cute as shit. I want that IRL. I wasn't paying attention to how I do the thing that she just taught me to do. I really wasn't paying attention. Fuck. I'm giving you guys the full effect by sitting like this. You're so welcome. Dude, that made my encoding overload, that cutscene. Jesus Christ. Okay. I think that's it for today. Um, I've been recording for an hour and a half, and we've made some pretty sick progress. So, uh, I'll see you guys next time.